Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to cover Microsoft Word 2016 and how to create and modify lists. I'm going to go over how to create lists in bulleted and numbered form and then also how to modify lists into a tab stop. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have a Microsoft Word document here. Now let's say I want these bottom three lines here to be a bulleted list. Well I could highlight these three lines and then if I go to the home tab, the paragraph group, the bullet button is right here. By default, if I click the left side of this button, it'll add in three circular black bullets. If I want to change those bullets to a different type, I need to click the button just to the right of it to expand the library. I can do a lot of different options here, like recently used bullets, the bullet library, and I can even change or define a new bullet based off of a photo or anything else that I want. All right, so I'm going to choose these ones right here, which is the square black bullet. And so I click that, and there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is how to create a tab stop in Microsoft Word. So tab stops, uh, essentially what they do is they make it so that all of your text aligns in one half to the left and one half to the right, separated by either blank space or dots or hyphens or anything like that. So in short, it'll make it look kind of like this, and I'm sure you've seen this before in other documents, and it basically separates them into different sections. So uh, instead of just putting a bunch of dots there, which is not generally the way that you want to do it, you're going to want to create a tab stop. Now, the reason for creating the tab stop is so that when it separates on the left and the right, it'll be on the exact same point aligned perfectly. So that way it looks very clean and gives your document a nice tab stop look. So in this case, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to turn on my formatting marks. So I can find that in my home tab paragraph group and I could click right here on show slash hide and that's going to turn on my formatting marks. Now this might look confusing if you've never seen these before but basically what they show you are paragraph markers so that's every time that you select a new paragraph uh, it'll create this or create a new paragraph and then it'll also show you little dots in between each word. Keep in mind that these dots represent spaces so every time you hit the space bar another one of those dots appear like I can show you right here. All right, so whenever you create a space or a space bar, those dots show up. Whenever you create a paragraph, these show up. And so these will never be printed, so don't worry about that. So if I were to hit print right now, none of this would show up except for the actual text. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to delete the space that's here, and instead I'm gonna press tab. Okay, and that's going to let Microsoft Word know that I want a little bit more space in between those words. So I'm going to do the same thing with the next two within this bulleted list. So again, I delete the space and I press tab. Okay, so now you can see here there are now tabs separating this, uh, these three bullets. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight these three bullets. Okay, again, you have to have a tab in between them because that's where the tab stop name comes from. And so it realizes, okay, the left section contains the dates and times and the right section contains the name of the service. All right, so in this case, now I'm going to go to the home tab the paragraph group and I'm going to click this little button right here called paragraph settings dialog box and I click this button right here and it's going to open this up. All right so now what we do is we look in the bottom left of this box where it says tabs and I'm going to click right there on tabs and what this does is it says tab stop position. Okay, now this is the position on your page in which the tab stop will occur. So if I were to put say six here, okay, uh, that would mean that it, the tab will stop six inches into my page. Okay, so if you're looking at a standard size of a uh, piece of paper, you know that it's eight and a half by 11. This one will stop at now six points. So I type in a six right there and I continue on. Now if I press set right down here, it will uh, move the six down into this section, okay? And so I press set, and then I go right over here to alignment right. This means that it's going to take everything that is on the second half of that tab stop, right? So in this, uh, series right here it says short and feature film pitches and everything that's aligned with that and it's going to move it to the right side. Now I can choose the type of leader that I want so this is going to be what fills that space in between the dates on the left side and the program on the right side and so I'm going to choose these ones right here which are dot leaders and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press set one more time and then I click OK and you can see the tab stops are now applied. So the tabs where we put them are where the uh, the uh, these are actually showing up right here now 
and the little dots are all the way across. So if I want to see what this will look like now, after I take off the paragraph markers, you can see right there, it gives it a nice clean look, perfectly aligned. Now how did it choose this point to be aligned on the right side? Well, let's view our ruler. Go to the View tab, Show Group, and click Ruler. And you'll see that right here is the six inch mark on our page and right there is where it's lined up at. So now it is the tab stop that aligns right there on the six inch mark. So uh, that's how you do dot leaders and that's how you do tab stops. So the last thing that I wanted to go over was how to create a numbered list. Well, numbered lists are pretty easy. You just go to the spot that you want to create the numbered list from. So right here I have, uh, it says the following categories and I'm gonna press enter. All right, so if my cursor is right here, that's where I can create my numbered list. So I'm gonna create a brand new one right now. So I go to the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and I'm gonna create a numbered list by clicking on Numbering. That's in the Paragraph Group right there. Now keep in mind you can choose specific numbering uh, symbols by clicking the drop down arrow right here, but by default they look like this if you click the left side. Then you could type in anything that you want. So I'm gonna type in Human Interest or Educational. And then if I press enter, it's going to automatically put in the next number on the list. And so I'll put political or journalistic. All right. And uh, then after that, if I press enter, it's going to take me down to number three. And I can write biographical or documentary. All right. And so, oops, spelled that one wrong. All right, so that's how you put in a numbered list. Keep in mind that numbered lists do work the same as the bulleted list in the way that if you highlight and then you press the number button, it will put a numbered list on that as well. So uh, hopefully this video has helped you learn about dot leaders, how to create them, how to modify them, as well as how to create and modify uh, numbered lists as well as bulleted lists. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.